guys. Sorry for the weird angle, but I just got a new tripod with a ring light, so I hope the picture is better during intros and outros or whenever I'm filming myself. I probably won't use it that much for filming my animals just because most of the animals are in glass enclosures, so there'll be a huge reflection, unless of course I have it open, I'm doing cleaning or something. But I just wanted to make that clear. Um, so I am going to do a couple different intros because I realize I have a bunch of videos without intros. So first I wanted to say the video you're about to see is me cleaning Cleo's, clay, Cleo's cage, my Assyrian hamster. She is such a sweet little lady and she deserves the best. She's in a 75 gallon tank and I'm just cleaning her cage, giving it a little bit of Halloween Vavoom. And then at the very end, I'm going to include a picture of the new sand bath I got her as well as a new hide because it did take me a little bit to find a sand bath that was suitable for her. And I finally did. Thank you to Victoria Rachel for showing me the Night Angel sand bath. So she has that now. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Use these little clips on here. One, because Cleo is a Syrian. And two, because my fairies run around and I don't need any mistakes. So. I am going to take her little, um, Cleo has a snack right here, so I'm going to feed this to her. She is a very sweet little lady. I have her wheel pinned up to the top because she always buries it, and that's not fun. So, um, I'm just going to start taking out her toys, switch her bedding, and then we'll be good. And then I'll switch her toys next week, but I kind of rotate that, like I said, so. This is a 75 gallon tank. I hope now that I pulled it forward, you can still see just fine. But this is a 75 gallon tank that I have her in with a mesh lid that I had to order off Amazon. So, um, she likes to fill everything with bedding. I already have to clean the pet room floor because I just did the fairies. I'm just gonna get the toys out. I believe this one's in there. Oh, so it's on to me. All right, there, where'd you go? Since she is in such a large tank, I try having the two sides piled pretty high and then having this, since I have it in the center, kind of low. Um, but I just need to find where so I can put her in this travel bin and then we can start cleaning. She just went to hide somewhere, so that's going to be good. So she is really, really cute. I haven't actually ever seen a Syrian like this. I got her from someone who got her from PetSmart and the lady told them to get two and so she had a rough start to life, but I'm just gonna put her in here to hang out for a little bit while I clean her enclosure. Just so we don't accidentally hit anyone. And just so you know, I tried for a long time to get Cleo to like me, and she just never ended up liking me at all. So, Eventually, I just started leaving her alone. She's not afraid of me. She just really doesn't want to be held, and that's fine. I'm not going to force her to. Um, I, the reason I got a Syrian is because they've always had Robos, and Robos don't like to be held. But she'll come take treats from my hands, and she'll come out when she hears me in here. She just isn't a huge fan. Oh, there's a house. She's just not a huge fan of being milk, which is fine. So, I'm just going to keep scooping all this bedding out. And I will probably keep like a fourth of the bedding in. Um, I don't like to keep too much, which is why I keep the toys in there. But... And just so you guys know, also with a 75 gallon tank, what I do is I spot clean weekly and then I deep clean monthly and on the, so like at the very end of the month, like today, I'll deep clean the bedding out. And then on like the second week of the month, 
I will swap the toys out. Cleo's actually a lot less messy. My current Robo, you guys know I had Cone. He passed away of old age. He was a very old man. Um, but Cleo is not nearly as messy as Chive, my current Robo. And Chive is absolutely terrified of me. I have had Chive for like almost a year now, honestly, and he still will not come out of him in the room. He sprints away if he sees me. It's really sad, but that's just, that's mine and Chai's relationship. I also need to reattach the wheel. It looks like she chewed one of the zip ties or somehow this got wonky because it won't stay straight, which is annoying to me. All right, and as I said, I don't leave that much old bedding in there. I'm going to try zip tying this on better. I'm thinking maybe it on this part. Is it a little more sturdy? I think so. Maybe I just did it weird before. I don't know, but it looks good. So now I'm going to get some bedding out of the closet. Tribe's cage I just cleaned two weeks ago. I got them each a bag of this Halloween bedding. So now it is Cleo's turn to get the Halloween bedding. I'm gonna put the Halloween bedding on one side and then I'm gonna put Aspen on the other side since that's what she's kind of used to being on. This is not my favorite bedding. It's the Pet Smart bedding, but I only get it during Halloween time because I really like the Halloween colors, Halloween my jam. Also, if you can hear anything, the ferrets are going crazy because I put them in their cage to do this and I was hoping they would take a nap since they've been out for like three hours playing. But now they're like, what, what are you doing? Why can't we help you? So. Buy Wolf Aspen from Chewy because I go through so much of it. I'm shaking the chives and tire tank too. I'm going to spread it out. Also, you know hamsters, they will just completely destroy everything they've done. But it can be nice at the beginning. Right, ma'am? Right. Um, so back here I have about 8 inches of bedding, which is really nice. That's the one thing I like about these 75 gallons is it has a ton of floor space. Um, and it also has a ton of height, so it's perfect for her 12-inch wheel, as well as nice deep bedding. Um, I do think I'm going to put some different sprays and stuff in. So this is my box. She's starting to get pretty antsy, so I want to throw her back in soon. But this is my box of different sprays and stuff for her to forage. I try to replenish these every week, just so she has something to do. I've got these different medleys that I like to sprinkle around for her to forge for. I do scatter feed her, but oh, that's a lot of berries, cheese. This is also a nice treat. I have this one, and then I have this one as well that's more like herbs and such. thing I like to put in is just a couple dried mealworms. Oops, well now they're all over the floor, so I'll have to clean that up. But that's some extra protein and it's just fun for her to find. I tried giving her a live mealworm and she absolutely hated it. So I'm not gonna do that again. She was afraid. Mealworms, dried mealworms are focused, so I need to pick those up. Alrighty, next let's put her toys back in. Sometimes I give her a dig box of a couple different substrates. Um, I'm not going to right now. I'm gonna put this house in. A little ghost house. We have this little green house that I'll put in there. This is the stuff I saved from her last bedding. This is like her nest with her chew toys and stuff. So, Put that in there. This is just a fun little container I have in there for her to go in and out. 
obviously I thought ahead when I was doing my last toy update and put some stuff that would work. This is a giant tunnel. She always buries it and fills it with a ton of bedding. So I'll put that in there for her. And then this I use to make it so she can reach her water bottle. So I'll put that in there. I'm going to um, clean and fill her water bottle. And then she will be ready to go back in there and I'll let you see her explore for a little bit. With the water bottles, I always squeeze it and then just make sure it's working. I will strap that on over here. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is just scatter a little bit of her food around. I mix the Missouri Rat Matchbox with Higgins Sunburst. And since I probably destroyed her cord, I will just mix like a bit in there just so she has some to start a new cord weed. And then I'm going to put her back in her house. So let's get her out. Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. watch her explore now while I put these back on. Sorry if it's shaky, I'm just holding it with my hand. She's very cute. She has plenty of hides. I will give her a sand bath. I just need to find a better one because she keeps burying the one I gave her. So I'm thinking like a Sterilite tub or something. Um, something that you can't bury. I also thought about maybe trying hanging it from the ceiling like I did with the wheel. But this is Cleo's overview of her new tank. I hope you enjoyed meeting her. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!